In this video, I'm going to tell you step by step what you have to do to become a plumber, and I'm going to tell you right now. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I've been plumbing over 38 years, and I have every master endorsement in the state of Texas. On this channel, I'm teaching you everything you need to know about plumbing. If you haven't been here before, please subscribe so you don't miss anything. So you've heard me talk about becoming a plumber and what you have to do. Well, today I'm going to tell you step by step. Now, I've given you a lot of this information before. The very first things you need to do, you need to ask yourself some questions. What kind of plumber do you want to be? Do you want to be a residential plumber or do you want to be a commercial plumber? Do you want to be a service plumber or a new construction plumber? And do you want to be a union plumber or do you want to be open shop? Now, I know it's crazy that I always start off with that, but the reason that I do is because you need to know what you want to be. And don't get me wrong, you may not end up that way. I started out doing residential construction. I got into commercial. I got into service. And I got into the biggest construction jobs in Dallas. But then I ended up doing residential service. I started out non-union. I ended up union. You may not end up exactly where you start, but had I known what I know now, I would have probably gone through the path a little different. So I'm trying to let you learn from my knowledge. So first of all, step by step, ask yourself those questions. Do you want to do residential or do you want to do commercial? That's a big deal. Do you want to do houses or do you want to do some of the biggest jobs in town? Do you want to do service or do you want to do new construction? And the reason I ask people that is, do you like building things or do you like fixing things? Because that's what it's really going to get into. And then the last one, do you want the union or do you want non-union? Union has benefits, non-union doesn't, but it also doesn't have some of the politics that go with it. So these are questions you need to ask yourself. But the very first thing you do once you answer those questions is you start looking for a job. Now, if you're going union, you're going to go down to the local hall. And if you go union, chances are you're probably going new construction and commercial. That's kind of the thing of the union. Now, I'm a residential service company and I'm union, so there are some variances to that rule. But you're going to look for a job. And the reason I say that is you want to get started in plumbing. And if you want to do commercial service, non-union, start looking for a company that does that. How would you do it? I would go down to a restaurant or maybe a bar or a business and say, hey, when y'all need your plumbing worked on, who do you call? And then call that company. You can also look at the commercials on TV. These are normally some of the biggest companies around. Call that company and say, hey, I'm interested in going to work for you. Now, the good thing about that is normally the larger companies like that have a good training program. And I definitely believe in training to me as one of the benefits of the union. But more and more non-union companies are starting to develop their own training programs. And that's a really good thing to do because now you can get in and you can learn it out of a book and you go out into the field and you actually apply. Once you get the job, then you start asking yourself, do I want to be a foreman? Do I want to be a superintendent? Do I want to be a project manager? Now, I got a message just the other day that said, Roger, why don't you tell people what else they can do? This guy actually works as an engineer. So plumbing can be a step to help you move up to different things. My son works for a large mechanical contractor here in Dallas. He works on a computer all day doing estimating. Some of my best friends work for that same company and they do 3D CAD drawings. They do virtual reality drawings. They do BIM. They do isometrics. They do cut sheets and spool sheets for the fab shop. Guys, just because you become a plumber, and I use that term loosely because some of them became pipe fitters and welders and then learned things later to help them move into the office. There's a lot of different things you can do in this career. Just as a plumber, you can start out as an apprentice, become a journeyman, and then become a master plumber. Once you become a master plumber, then here in Texas, you can actually own your own business by becoming a responsible master plumber. They're working on the plumbing license laws and we don't know how it's gonna end up, so things may change, but at this time, 
Those are the steps you need to take. As a plumbing company owner, you can also ask yourself, do you want to do service or do you want to build things? Some companies just do new construction, some just do service, and some literally do a combination of both. Becoming a plumber is a great profession. And I say that because what we do is a very professional trade. You can decide how far you want to go with that. You can move up to, like I said, project manager into the office doing estimating or CAD work. You can literally become director of operations for a contractor. You can move up to vice president. You can move up to president. You can even own your own company. I don't see me as owning a large commercial plumbing mechanical contracting company here that does three or four hundred million dollars a year, but I can see me having a residential service company, maybe even a little bit of commercial, but I could move up to do 50 million a year, maybe 100 million a year. It's up to me how much I want to grow, how much time and money I want to invest, but those are choices that I get to make. So these are all questions that you have to ask yourself whenever you get into it because it's a step-by-step -step decision. Plumbing is a great career, and there's a lot of choices. You don't just have to be the plumber that goes out in a truck and unstops the toilet. There's other things that you can do, and this is a great way to learn how to do it. If you're already in plumbing and you do something that I'm not talking about, leave a comment down below. And if you are in plumbing, let me know what kind of plumber are you. Are you service? Are you construction? Are you residential? Are you commercial? Are you union or are you non-union? And let me know why you're that way and what you like best about it. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber, and I'll see you on the next video if you don't get flushed.